So today I am going to do a bit of an experiment. Um, this is a new technique that I haven't tried before and I'm really excited to have a go. So I'm just going to go straight in and have a go. What it is, is foiling. So you know how you see really nice um, shiny designs on things? Um, well, this is one technique that we are supposed to be able to do it with. Um, now usually foiling is done by heat transfer, um, so in theory we should be able to run it through a laminator because a laminator heats up in order to laminate the sheets, um, but we can run the paper through it um, as long as we, we protect it with another piece of paper, um, we should be able to do that. Now apparently it's the laser ink that the foil will stick to. So I've printed this on my laser printer. It's just one of my simple tribal doodles that I did in a recent um, video when I was doodling for some pattern design. And I thought I would try this kind of rose gold coppery foil on it. So, first of all, I need to cut a piece of foil to cover the motif. Oops, fiddly. Okay. Now, I think we're meant to have it foil side up. And then, oh, better turn this on to warm up. Then taking a regular piece of paper to protect it, What I'll do is I'll slide that inside the regular folded piece of paper. So that should be in place there. So just be careful. I don't know why I'm talking as though this as though this is a tutorial. This isn't a tutorial, this is actually the first time I'm trying this, so it could go wrong. We shall see. I'm really hoping it will work. Do you know what would help if I actually turn the plug on? There we go, now it's making a noise like it's actually heating up. So yeah, I um, I can't remember how I saw how I came across this, but um, I saw a few people doing this on YouTube. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I was looking for I was looking up some ideas of what I might like for my birthday, and I came across a foiling machine. Um, it was like a kit that you can get from Hobbycraft, um, but I noticed that the machine looked a lot like a laminator. So I searched on YouTube to see if anyone else had tried using a laminator to do the foiling process and people had so I was very excited so I, I've already got the laminator so I got myself some foil as you saw. Um, now it's not any old foil it's actually um, as you will have seen it's very very thin and it's got like a kind of grey backing to it so yeah, I, I, I've already got a laser printer as well. Um, it only does black and white though, so I can't I can't print like a full design on it and then uh, run it through. So I'm having to think about what I'm doing. Um, so I just thought I'll try it with this very simple design first. The paper that I was using was a Fabriano paper. Um, it's a sketching paper that can also be put through the printer, so 
um, I thought that would be nice and if this goes well I will probably make a notebook cover or sketchbook cover out of this and I'm really really hoping it, it will work. Um, I do have another method of foiling and that is going to be using a, um, a heat tool um, so I, you know I will be able to use these foils but for now I think this is ready because it just clicked for now fingers crossed this works now I might have to put it through several times because someone I watched doing this method had to put it through three times but most people just put it through once so I guess I'll have a, a peek after this has gone through and see if it's worked um, if not hopefully if I don't jog it I can I can pop it back in too nervous to do it what if it hasn't worked it I can vaguely see the pattern through it so <gasps> okay so it's definitely working but I can still see some black specks so I'm going to run it through a couple more times before I peel that off completely because I think it probably needs more heat to, to completely go through there so I'm going to run it through a couple more times I think and see if that helps it to completely adhere so I'll turn that off and let's peel it off completely let's start from the other side because um, it might be that where I peeled off before caused some of the black specks, but I suspect, yeah, there's black specks all over. So, and the great thing about this foil is you've got a nice negative design there as well. So, um, I guess you could use some heat to attach the rest of it to something. Um, and of course if you've got any well it can be reused so these edges here if you've got something small to foil you can make sure you reuse you know you can use lots of it up so nothing gets wasted um, I'm not entirely sure how I would use heat to attach this um, negative to something so I'll have to look that up but I know I could use the heat tool but um, yeah not sure so Look at this. <gasps> wow. Shiny. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, now, let's see if I can show you the black specks because it's a bit difficult to see. I have no idea if that's showing up or not. Sometimes it's what I can see on the camera screen um, is less clear than what can be seen when I actually put the footage on the computer. So maybe you can see the black specks there. But take my word for it if not there are small black specks where the foiling hasn't quite gone down but I don't mind it I think it looks quite cool um, I guess you might not want black specks showing uh, depending on what what your project is but for this for this sort of rustic kind of tribal design I think it looks really good so wow I am super pleased with that um, feeling over it if that's not budging even rubbing it gently with my nail that's not moving so that is fantastic um, so yeah the next experiment will be to see if I can paint over it and yeah I think I will probably make this into a notebook or sketchbook cover Excellent. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'll show you the other tool when it comes and uh, any other experiments I do with this. Um, so 
yeah, let's uh, have fun with foiling.